Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Sunday evening, about 7.30 p.m. Central Time. I'm about 20 minutes away from home, driving back from Atlanta, Georgia. I just attended the uh, the abbreviated 10X Boot Camp, uh, the free Father's Day uh, 10X Boot Camp. However, I did upgrade to the VIP pass uh, to attend, and, and it just dawned on me to capture this moment because the thought that just flashed through my head was that I just got to meet uh, one of my heroes in person. And uh, <clears throat> there's been there's been other guys that I've idolized at different stages of my life. And, and I think I found myself to do that. I, I, and I've mentioned that before. Um, and, you know, Jocko Willink was one of them. Dave Ramsey was one of them. Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk was one of them. But, it, you know, the, the moment came and then went. And, like, you know, now if I met Jocko, I'm sure I'd be ecstatic. Uh, but I didn't meet him in the moment that I was fully plugged into his material, right? Like, I was you know, training and learning and dedicating my life to becoming a military officer. And so his content seemed very relevant. Hey, it's leadership and, you know, it's, it's leadership material, uh, for a military leader. Like that is 100% the, the, the audience that his, his content hits to best and I'm sure if I would have met him in that time, my brain would have exploded. And, uh, and and again, there's been just different periods of time where, for whatever reason, I've latched on to a particular content or you know frequency and really stayed in on that, dug in on that for a long, long time. And the past six months of my life has been uh, this individual, Grant Cardone... <laughs> And, uh, you know, he's a pretty popular guy, so I don't know if, you know, if I, you know, if sharing this with anyone is going to be like, oh, who's that guy? You know, he's, he's very uh, prominent on social media. He has a sales training program. He has, uh, you know, he has real estate programs and, uh, you know, a bunch of businesses. And uh, it was pretty cool because I was literally sitting front and center and even got to interact just like it, it brought a, it brought a little smirk to my face thinking about there was a moment in the show I mean it was a four hour deal he brought up a couple other speakers throughout but I mean it was hours of him just going <clears throat> and uh, he he uh, I mean, there was, and then there was even a moment, again, I'm like sitting front and center, literal front row right there. And he was, you know, within arm's distance a few times and even exchanged a couple words with me uh, as he was trying to make a point. You know, he's very interactive and engaging with the crowd. Uh, but, you know, at one point asked me what it is I sell and, and then got into a whole window thing. And I threw in a joke back that kind of made him chuckle because he was going off about... Uh, how you have to have a range of products, right? And he said, you know, he asked, what is it? What is the price of a typical window? And, you know, it's about, I said, okay, about 800 bucks. And he said, great. You know, you, you have to have one that's well below that. And then one that's way above, you have to have a $5,000 window. He got in this whole joke about what would make, what in the world would justify buying a $5,000 window. Uh, and I, you know, it was just cool. It was just a cool moment, and it just sparked in my head. I was like, man, I just got to meet one of my heroes in real life in a moment that I'm actively following their content. They're actively, you know, putting out wisdom. And it was an interesting ordeal because I drove to another state. I went from 
I went from Tennessee to Atlanta. I grabbed a hotel room. I, you know, purchased purchased a ticket to a free event, which I, I feel just fine about. Uh, and I'm and and it wasn't like there was a bunch of information that was <laughs> conveyed that was you know wildly different than anything I've been hearing from all of this shit that I listened to online and and uh, the, the training program of his that I'm in so all of this was very consistent with that there was no surprise there was no massive surprises it went a lot harder than I was expecting um, you know I, I just got off the a lengthy phone call with my sister and when I was explaining it felt like uh, uh, it, it felt like it was a it was, part of it was a bit of a mental beat down and I and I mean that in the best way possible and I think like like I was telling her that part of uh, part of his mentality is in order to succeed in order to succeed in the money game you know and get in and, and, and accumulate wealth and live a life of wealth <laughs> you have to have the right data you have to have the right information and you can't accept the right information if you're holding on to the wrong information. And so he he spent a, a fair amount of energy hammering away at the bad data, hammering away at the bad information that we have and it was and it was kind of funny because I'm sitting there going like, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I give, I give, but, you know, how do we get out of it? <coughs> and, um, and so it was, it was just, a, it was an interesting event. I, I think I'm one, one, uh, thought I had heading into it was like, man, I hope it doesn't ruin, like, I hope I don't walk away from this, like, you know, disappointed or feel like, uh, you know, feel like the veil has been pulled back and, you know, it's not all it's cracked up to be, yada, 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 but I didn't walk away with that at all. I, I feel like this guy is, is, is the real deal. He's a legit businessman who's willing to get out there still and, and share and, and open him himself and his life up, you know, kind of expose, you know, his raw thoughts on, you know, how to make it in life and, and be, be willing, like opening himself up to criticism because that is, uh, you know, he pointed out like there's a, there's a lot of wealthy successful people who when they achieve that level of success they close in on themselves they go behind closed doors and they don't share they don't they don't tell us how they did it and so here's a guy in his prime right a guy in his business prime uh, you know putting up all kinds of big numbers you know, has built this this radical, amazing life. You know, worth admiring. And uh, <clears throat> and and so he's yeah, he's built this this radical, amazing life, worth admiring. And he's willing to share it. He, he's willing to share what his take on how to get it done is. And so I think that's. I think that's just as admirable. Uh, so, so, anyways, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I was, I was stoked to be there, stoked to have the experience. I feel like I, uh, you know, a, a lot of the information has come down to you got to put in the work every day. You got to, 
you got to set massive targets and put in a massive amount of action to reach those targets. And I think even still, I was kind of going, hoping, you know, will there be, will there be one nugget? Will there be one piece of information? Is there a key to unlock my situation to take me from here to where I want to be? And, you know, there, I, I took a ton of notes. I took a ton of notes. There was plenty of little aha moments or things being said in a certain way that, uh, that clicked in a new way. And again, it was aggressive. It was hard. Like it was, it was, Hey, it's not okay to just get by. It's, it is your responsibility to, you know, strive towards your potential and to provide for those around you. So, so it was a big push. It was, it was pressure. It was, it was, it wasn't a rah, rah. It wasn't, let's, Hey, let's get fired up. It's like, Hey, get your act together. What are you doing? <laughs> let's get going. Uh, but, but no, uh, no secrets. No, no, uh, no magic tricks. You know, no, that no, you're going to wake up tomorrow and it's going to happen. But, but if you keep putting in the work and if you keep showing up every day with the right attitude, with the right information, with the right skill sets, uh, and if you don't quit, and if you keep your sights set on a massive target, there's no way you can't reach it, right? That's the that's the whole idea. If you don't quit, you can't fail, is one of his taglines. So, anyways, was just having uh, <laughs> was just having a, a moment where I was feeling like I, I wanted to share, but I think I ran out of people to call. So I was like, you know what? I got I got at least 30 friends here on the YouTubes uh, to share this moment with. So, you know, not like I'm one to be giving out advice because, again, I don't feel like I'm anywhere near where I want to be in life. Um, but I feel like I have had moments where my judgment has been sound and, uh, you know, people I love and respect I think value my judgment in, in, in some ways and on certain subjects and so you know if there's one one thing to recommend to any friends out there on the interwebs would be this guy's content and I've probably said it multiple times before but uh, um, I think I think whether it's building on previous information that I've got before or it's just a, a radical difference or just a, just a really bringing it all together in a, in a, in a better way. I mean, it, it just seems like it's, he, he has the extreme ownership mindset that Jocko talks about. He, he talks about owning it and, and being accountable for everything you do in your life. And so, you know, I may not have really understood that subject if I hadn't spent some time on on Jocko and and there's financial discipline and he rags on Dave Ramsey there's no doubt about it Uh, but I think there's some there's some there's some ways that their their beliefs overlap you know just having a a financial discipline I think is is a way that they would overlap Uh, yeah I think there's ways that they overlap but he definitely he definitely uh goes at him a little bit but but even still uh, yeah I just think the information that he's putting out there to to not be satisfied with the sort of the <clears throat> the situation that has been handed to or the, you know the situation that many of us find ourselves in right and it's not you know I'm now old enough to where I can say hey it's on me you know I, I put myself in this situation of uh, of not not being where I want to be in life, but that I'm the only one that's going to change that. So, hope you're all well. Hope you're all staying productive. Um, hope you're continuing to set big, massive goals and visions, and and multiplying the amount of effort you expect it'll take to get there. Because that's what I'm trying to do. I haven't reached my goals yet. I haven't, I haven't 
logged any you know amount of success that I'm I'm ready to brag about um, but I hope to I hope to and I and I hope to you know keep getting the right information and just staying plugged into it long enough to start moving the needle so you know I've got I've got big hopes for me and my family's life and and wish nothing but the same for anyone else out there who find, finds themselves in a similar situation, and, which is just that, hey, things have been going okay enough, but, but this is not the life that I want. I want. I want more. I want something bigger. You know, I want more abundance in every aspect of life. And, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. So I hope you're all well. And I hope to talk to you soon. Over and out.